Dear friends in Christ, welcome to Friday of the 20th week in the ordinary time, year two. There are laws and rules regulating everything in the world today, from religion to trade, national life to personal and private living. The rules are there to help safeguard each one's right and also lay out the duties. Although often not written in our constitutions directly, the whole purpose and end of these rules and guidelines is love. Even for those who do not believe in God, they have it as a duty to love their neighbor. Our first reading is from the prophet Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 1 to 14, and it's a vision on the extent to which God is willing to go with the people of Ezekiel's time. Ezekiel, in a vision, was brought to the valley full of dry bones and asked if it is possible for these bones to live. When he answered that only God knows, he was asked to prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and put breath in you, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel did as he was commanded, and the dry bones received flesh and breath. They make a large host. God told Ezekiel, these represent the house of Israel. God made a promise to the prophet that he will raise his people from their present condition in which they refer to themselves as dead and dry bones. The mercy and compassion of God is beyond our understanding. He continues in his love for us all through life and all he demands is that we also show forth that love. The Gospel is from Matthew chapter 22, verses 34 to 40, and concerns the commandments. The Pharisees asked Jesus, Master, which is the greatest commandment of the law. At this time, the teachers of the law had made a collection of a total of 613 laws, and each of them taken from the words of Moses. 365 of the laws were prohibitions each of them taken from the from the laws already given things that the Jews must not do while 248 were positive commands what Jews have to do this question was obviously meant to trap Jesus his response was you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and the second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. It is obvious that without love, none of the commandments is fulfilled. Love is that which moved God to send his son into the world to redeem it. Just as it was in love, he created us all. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, says John. Beyond even a particular religion, one without love is empty. The greatest need of the world today is love beginning from our homes. In homes where people do not share their love, you find so much hatred and problems. In our society where people are greedy and selfish, they'll do anything for personal gains, even at the expense of the society and their neighbors. We live in a very religious society, but I wish that our religiosity will translate into love for one another. Love of God without the love of neighbor takes no one anywhere. For if you cannot love the neighbor whom you see, it is impossible to claim to love the God whom you cannot see. Let us pray. Renew your love in us, O Lord. Bind our homes in your love and give us the grace to love others the way you love us. Amen.
May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.